they say you know that they're a drinking club with a political problem. <laughs> okay, my goal is the next guy who says to himself, "Hey, I'm thinking about joining the Proud Boys," that they know ahead of time how it's run, that everything you do in those chats, whether it be a video or a voice message or a comment, all of that is kept. And the reason it's kept is so that you won't talk in case something happens. As far as Wisconsin goes, it's definitely more like a cult than a brotherhood. I joined the military under a 19 Delta uh, Cavalry Scout with the Army, went to Iraq, essentially walked away from the military with a medical retirement because of uh, PTSD, spine damage, nerve damage, um, and later they found some uh, a TBI in my uh, right prefrontal cortex. I won't lie, I've had some issues post leaving military and was missing out on the camaraderie and the, and the brotherhood type of thing. And so I had gone to the BFW and was talking to a guy there. He said, well, you know, if you're looking for brotherhood, if you're looking for camaraderie, if you're looking for the stuff that you got in the military, but that is gone now because you're out, have you considered the Proud Boys? There was a lot of comments that were definitely racist in tone. Um, there were, there were a lot of comments that were anti-Semitic, and it's, it's not like, hey, we have issues with Israel's policies. It was, let's post videos of um, you know, black men being killed by the police. Uh, let's post a thing that says Derek Chauvin did nothing wrong right when the, the um, decision came down. What I found interesting was in that chat, there were, were no black members trying to, to join. And even at the quarterly and other meets, there were no African-American men there. There were no Native American men there. there. There was only white people. Honestly, what I experienced was the guys who espoused views that were definitely inflammatory. Uh, those people were promoted because they were fitting in more so with the group. What they say is that they're open to um, all races and if you're, you're gay, it's no big deal. They'll give you crap for it, but you know they'll accept you as a brother. I noticed that there was definitely a hatred, um, not just homophobia, but a, a severe hatred of anyone who was gay or bisexual. There was a, a member that tried to join, as you know, um, and he had released some information about his past and they used that completely against him to abuse him and pretty much terrorize him. I definitely said some things that I shouldn't have said to that gentleman we talked about. I have reached out to him and asked for forgiveness for what I've done and he's forgiven me. So I'm not, I'm not the good guy here. I'm just the guy who's standing up because other people don't or can't stand up because they have too much to lose. I have loyalty, I, I have integrity. These are all things the military built upon. Um, but when you take a guy and your whole purpose is to just abuse him, what brotherhood is that? That is no brotherhood. It's, it's my, it was my choice to join the group. Um, my wife gave me her, her two cents, my family gave me their two cents, and I still chose to join the group. Now. Uh, you know, I have the police watching my house. Now I have you know, adjusted my sleep patterns to make sure that the, my family is safe and I'm awake in case something happens.